Hey YouTube, I'm back again with uh, my final pickups video for this week. Um, what I've got here is what I've picked up from the charity shops and Poundland uh, over the last week or so. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, these first few came from the uh, Daisy Chain Superstore. Um, they do their, they used to do their DVDs at uh, five to two pounds, but they reduced them. Uh, quite recently they're now five for a pound so each of these cost me 20 pence each uh, so firstly I picked up Churchill the Hollywood years Christian Slater I've heard that that's pretty poor but uh, I do like Christian Slater so we'll, uh, we'll see what that's like uh, there I've got Romance in the Stone I think that's uh, Great film, I haven't seen it for a long time, um, but they also had a sequel, Children Now. This one's still factory sealed. Another Scooby Doo from my collection uh, Scooby Doo and the Arabian Nights. Uh, this was a complete buy and buy, I know nothing about this one. Um, Fish Tank, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Uh, in one of these old snapper type cases, which uh, anyone who knows my videos, I really love these. Uh, uh, yeah, I enjoy picking these up. Um, originally in the Infidel, I haven't seen this, but uh, it's really, really funny originally, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, trying that. And we've got Mrs. Brown's Boys Live. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Brown. I actually saw this um, up in Newcastle, uh, the live show, um, gosh, three years ago, I think it was. Yeah, it was really funny. Uh, and then The Boondock Saints 2, All Saints Day. These films are absolutely awesome. Um, both the first and the second film. The second film gets quite a bit of flack, but there. Uh, I think it's great, um, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking that out again. And finally, in this lot, um, I got the host on Blu ray for 20p. Um, this was literally this, and, and I think it was Fish Tank. Um, we just fill her just to make up the numbers. Um, this one will be going straight to uh, to CEX as a trade in. Then uh, from the Sue Rider store or Sue Rider shop. Um, for 50 pence, I got early doors, uh, and also for 50 pence, the time machine again. Another one of these little cases, and also, uh, I think that must be the last one there. I thought I got some else, you know. Uh, this I've been looking for for such a long time. Uh, this is Time Cop 2, cost me 99p. This came from um, the Salvation Army. Uh, whenever I see these, they're always ex rental copies and they're always this uh, such bad condition. Um, this is the first time I've ever come across this um, that isn't an ex rental copy and the disc isn't mint. But there is, it's, it's, you know, there's a few scratches here and there, but it played perfectly. Um, I have seen this years ago when it first came out. In fact, I rented it when it first came out, and I haven't seen it since. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a cheesy 90s or early 2000s, I guess, uh, sci-fi movie. Quite low budget, but uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And another uh, trade bait. This again will be going straight to CEX, it was 99p, Alice in Wonderland, their trade in is £2, so, yeah. Uh, and Lego release The Adventures of Clutch Powers, I uh, don't know anything about this, but uh, yeah, it looked quite interesting. And um, from what I've seen of these uh, Lego animation movies, uh, so far they've been really good. And uh, these two... Um, Came from Age UK, 49 pence each. Say anything. Another great 80s flick. And TV show that I've never ever seen. Uh, Lead Balloon. 
This is the first series. Um, Jack D. Jack D is always funny, so I decided to grab that. And then from where did these come from? British Red Cross. These were three for a quid. So firstly, I got the Abyss. A special edition. This is um, one of the uh, first releases of this in the Digipack set cover. Uh, get it open. There we go. So it comes with the theatrical and special edition versions of the movie. Um, you know, when this was first released, it came in a Digipack like this. And uh, eventually it uh, just came in a normal amory case in a, in a similar uh, slip cover which is a little bit damaged but uh, I think that a bit of glue won't uh, fix and for what, 33 pence? I'm not going to complain. I really do like that film as well. It's, uh, it's quite some time since I've seen it. Uh, and i got Timeline. Again, this is a pretty good movie. Um, I'm a sucker for time travel movies, what can I say? Yeah, I, I, I do remember enjoying this film. And then lastly, this again was just a, a filler because I couldn't find anything else and needed to get another one for a, to make up the, the three for a pound. Uh, Garfield the movie, it's not an awful movie, it's not a great movie, but it's, you know, it's fun. Uh, and what else have we got? Um, I've got a, actually I've got a digital copy. I've got a few over the last few weeks digital copies that I already have. Already have the digital copy for that I've uh, I've got previously. Um, so this uh, Doctor Who set I bought a couple of weeks ago on uh, Blu-ray. Um, I don't need this. So if anybody can make any use of it, uh, it hasn't been redeemed. But whether it's still. Uh, Working or not, uh, it may have expired. I don't know, but if anybody can read that, it doesn't seem to be focusing. Um, give it a try, right? Uh, next, this is another one I got as uh, pretty much a trade in. Um, this is the Jane Austen collection, brand new sealed. Uh, it cost a quid. It's a three disc set. I've no interest in that at all. Pretty much bought it to trade, and again with this one. Problem Child 2, I already have the, the trilogy box set of these, um, three, the three movies, um, this was uh, a pound, um, it trades in for two quid, so why not, um, again for a pound, uh, but this is to keep, uh, Return to Oz, I haven't seen this for a long time, I'm a huge fan, I grew up watching Wizard of Oz um, every year on TV. Um, I love it. It's uh, it's a while since I've seen this one. I, I don't recall it being anywhere near as good. But, uh, yeah, I want to give it another try. And some more uh, charity shop pickups. Um, this was a new charity shop I've not been to uh, in about ten years. I can't for the life of me remember the name. It wasn't a big. It's not one of the big chains. It's a, an independent charity store. Um, but again, these were selling the DVDs at uh, three for a pound. So I got uh, this is brand new sealed Carry On Matron. Uh, again, brand new sealed after dark release of Rogue River. I don't know anything about that, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. Um, Johnny Vegas live in Benidorm. An audience with Billy Connolly. The Graves. Uh, again, don't know anything about this. Uh, but it's brand new sealed. And then another one for trade. I've got no interest in this at all. But it's again brand new sealed. Uh, second series of uh, Geordie Shaw. And finally, uh, just a few quick chat. Uh, uh, Poundland pickups, these are all DVDs. Um, so we have the Afflicted, this is uh, a slip cover. 
Conjuring the Dead. Again, a slip cover. No idea. Never seen that, never heard of it. And Angel. This again comes with a, a slip cover. But for a quid each. Have to give them a try. Anyway, that's it. That's all uh, my pound shop and cherry shop pickups for the last week or so. Um, including a few that uh, will be taken into CEX probably tomorrow, maybe later in the week. Um, get a voucher and see what they've got. If not, grab some offline. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Ta. -ra.